Tell me, if you can, tell me how the four trades and five trades fell out and when. Okay, that came about um in the back in the back in the seventies. You know, four tray and five tray. We was real close. We had four tray Avalon, five tray Avalon. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we was good. We was good. We'd go down to Gilbert Lindsay, kick it, and um, they would come down to South Park and kick it. Um, 1970. I see a lot. A lot of people. Um, they look at the six souls and the gangsters when they went to war as the first, you know, real crip on crip war. But a lot of people don't know the four trays and the five who's Broadways went to war before them. For the dime moves in the lokes, for the six foes on spokes, on. for the OGs that did a dime, came back around on parole, for the homegirls with the scrap game, little homies that game bang, from Pelican Bay to YA, rearrange your mind frame, yeah I know what you have been through, uh, shit you had to go tend to, your mama gave birth on the turf, I know them killers you kin to, this for the lost generation, broke as hell man. Yo, lifting weights and I was on sport, they start calling me Big Miz. Original stutter box. East side fire who's Pablo Bishop, Mill City Gangster Bloods. Yeah, Max, video, you, video, you, you know, this is for sure, for sure. Yeah, Max, video, you, video, you, open your soul. This is only you get old, the beginning. It just, you know, it was like about four, five months before the Six O's and the Gangsters went to war. About five months before that, the four trades and the Broadways went to war. But a lot of people didn't really hear about it. It wasn't broadcasted like that. Um, at a football game, the four trays killed a fight who's Broadway at a football game. And they war started then. So whenever the four trays would come down to uh, South Park to kick with us, the Broadways would jump on them. I mean, you know, they would they would get into it. And that and you know, at that time, you know, in you know, 79 fight who's Broadways was kind of strong. And um the four trays, they weren't as strong as them. And we wouldn't help them straight out. We did not really help them cats. And, um, you know, they would ask, man, you know why, um, man, we keep fighting against these dudes off the west side, man, why y'all won't help us? And um, I can honestly say the homies didn't really have a good answer. I don't know what the answer was. I'm following suit of my homeboys at the time. And, and so that would brought about, okay, well, bump it then. If y'all not going to help us against these cats, ain't no need for us to be Avalon's. And that's and you know as time went on, that's what made them drop the Avalon moniker. And they went through they went through a bunch of years of uh, whether they want to be <coughs> excuse me, Faux Trey East Coast, uh, Faux Trey Ghost Town, uh, Faux Trey San Pedro, Faux Trey uh, Playboy, all, all type of a myriad of different little names. But they did not want to be Avalon no more. <coughs> so as time went on, time went on. We were strong, they were weak, but now. And when Third World, when, when um, Burt Train got out and came out with the, with the little dope click, Third World, they start getting strong. You know, money bring power. And um, <clears throat> they start getting strong and, they, you know, their recruitment picked up. We never really had a really a dope click like that because the old zones at the time weren't a part of us. <clears throat> they were they they were their they were their own entity. You know the Broadways had Whitey Enterprise, Faux Trades had Third World. We was just you know nitpicking, you know getting in where we fit in with all these other hoods. So now as time went on, Faux Trades start getting stronger, and um they had they start getting more youngsters than we did, and they start trying to push across Vernon. You know Vernon is the boundary. You know you cross Vernon, you in our hood. And so, you know, they had the mentality, well, look, if we four trays and they five trays, why do they have 46, 47, 48, and 49? That's in the 40s with us. But that has always been our hood. So they start coming over there, and them youngsters start getting into it, getting into it, getting into it. So it started out as a lot of little menial fist fights. We take the homies down there to fight. They bring the homies down here, you know, little fist fights. We tried to leave it at that. As time progressed, you know, we looked up one day and they start crossing out the five and leaving the three. So the homies start crossing out the four and leaving the three. You already know how that going to progress. It progressed. It progressed. So homies got tired of it. And um, the first the first killing was uh, my, one of my homeboys killed one of their homeboys. And from that from that point on, it, it never looked back. 
Um, I'm gonna say about uh, about ninety three. It, it turned into a full fledged war that lasts like right to this day. Right to this day, they are our most hated enemy. We don't the homies don't pay a lot of attention to the villains and all that. My you know my homies hate the full trays. That's what they hate, and it just you know it it came into that. That's how it progressed. Look, you beat me to it about the third world and why the enterprise and ozone. I was going to ask you how y'all right in the middle of all that, but we never heard y'all name getting money like that. that see, that's, that's why I was saying the homies, they never really did come up with their own like dope thing. You know what I'm saying? They would, some of them would get in with the third world. Some of them would get in with the ozone. You know, a few of them was getting money with Whitey Enterprise. That's why I say, you know, the few that got in with the ozone, that's how we were able to flip the ozone to 40 Avalon gotcha. because of that. But um, gotcha. as far as us coming up with our own little thing, it never happened. Because at that time, I think like my homeboy Jimbo, AIP, he was getting the money in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Jimbo was getting money at that time. And, um, you, you know, he was doing his own thing. But for some reason, we never did really come up with our own real thick don't click or money click like that. But, you know, too, I, I'm sure you know this, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. You know them old businessmen that was hanging in South Park was getting rid of that tar. That was a big spot for tar back then. Oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was doing their thing. Yeah, they would. They, you know, they they were doing their thing, which we didn't really pay a, pay a lot of attention to at the time. You know what they did, cause um, they were they, you know, they were dwindling at the time. You know, and uh, we knew them. Like we said, we knew we came from them. We knew them you know, had real tight relations with them. So, you know, we would kick it with them, talk with them. You know, we still call them OG right today. The few that come around still, you know, but yeah, they, they was doing their thing. I think, I think had the game not switched from heroin to crack, I think y'all would have picked that up and took that over. But because the drug changed, the generation changed, that might have had a little something to do with it. Pro but, you know, probably, I would, I would guess so. Um, I never really... You know, I never really got into it like that. See, I was one, I was a gangbanger's gangbanger. I was one of them cats that um long as I had a pistol, a blue rag, and about twenty dollars in my pocket, I was happy. I ain't never been one that wanted money, tried to get money, chase behind money. I was one of them cats that uh used to kind of like, you know, you know, snark my nose up at the homies who was really getting money because yeah. in my eyesight. They wasn't gang banging. They wasn't putting in no work. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't care nothing about that. If you wasn't, if you wasn't hanging out on 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 the boulevard and busting, writing on the walls or doing whatever, you wasn't my type of crib. So you know, because you got low riders or you know what I'm saying, you you might pull up and get a homie some weed or buy the homie something to drink, and the homies was loving that, praising that. I was kind of like, man, I don't care nothing about that. What you do? What what you done did for the set? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of my homies that was getting money, they was like, dang, here come Toon. Oh, shoot, here come Toon. Because I was on the bull. I was on it. I understand. All right, look. So when Joker get killed, what happened with the five trays and the Hoovers? How did how did those relations go? With uh with the uh with the homie uh, baby Joker. Yeah. Um that you know what? That was a hard pill to swallow, and for me, you know, I went to jail. I was in, I was in, uh, I, I was in jail when that happened, and um, the dude, the dude who did it, believe it or not, he used to go with my sister, mm. and um, you know, when we, we, you know, I heard about it. Her homies heard about it. Um, we didn't like it. I, I thought myself that we were gonna go to full fledged war with the Hoovers behind it but it didn't happen that way um why it didn't happen that way i don't know um i can honestly say if i would have been on the streets we would have went to full-fledged war because that's that's the way i banged um i can't uh it's only so much i can speak on it um let's just say uh uh dang how to put it it was a body for a body. Put it like that. I'll leave it at that. Right, right, right. And so, that okay, that's cool. So, so far, 
If you was home, if you wasn't going to prison so much, you would have stopped one war and started another one. <laughs> um, pretty. I mean, you know, my homeboys. You know, at one time, you know, I had some. You know, homies used to be kind of glad when I went to jail. I'm talking about literally, like, dang, whew, man, tune going back because I was one of them cats when I was on the streets. If I pull up in the hood and it's four five of y'all, and um, don't nobody got no gun. I was taking off. You know what I'm saying? I'm socking homies out off the bat because, you know, this ain't what it's about. You know, you wasn't finna be standing around all day when I was out and wasn't doing nothing because I might just pop out the clear blue sky like, hey, man, come on. Let's go put some work in. Let's go uh, let's go bust on such and such. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of, some of them cats, they, they didn't really, really, really want to do that. They wanted to be a part of something, but they didn't want to do how they were supposed to do it. And, um, like my dog, you know, AIP, my homeboy, crazy Ray, you know, um, I can honestly say, man, um, people hate it when me and him was on the street together, they hated it. Cause they was like, man, God dang, these two right here, something else. Hey, uh, I, I, I don't really want you to go into who lunatic is or nothing, but I do want to say this. Was Lunatic part of your crew? Because I remember as a kid, I used to see Cartoon, Lunatic, and Crazy Ray hit up on the walls together. Um, No, no, no. They, they No, they were too young. They um, were the the Lunatic that you would see on the wall, that was my homeboy, Lil Lunatic, AIP. Um, He got killed in, he, you know, he was one of the casualties in us in the full trade war. Um, Big Lunatic, he called a murder case a long time ago, he'd been down like what almost 30 years. But um, as far as like us striking names on the wall, we might have just struck up like who who was standing around at that time. Right, right. But um, but big lunatic and little lunatic were my little homeboys. They were up under they were years up under me. Did you know uh Green Eye Keystone? From from 6 0? Yeah. I didn't I didn't know him, I didn't know him personally. I didn't know. I didn't know him personally. Um, I had heard of him. I, you know, I, there's a lot of. It's a lot of six O's I know personally. A lot of them. I'm talking about a whole handful of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, that I know personally, but I didn't. I knew of his name, but I didn't know him. I didn't know him personally. Um, my home girl, she had a baby by uh, uh, what's Cuz name? Um, your your homeboy Ken K. Yeah. Yeah, she had a baby by Kincaid, and um, at one time, uh, Big U and another one of your homeboys, they would come, they would come in our hood because she stayed right on Fifty Third, on the backside though, going towards Central, and they would come in the hood and bring her money to take to the county jail when she would go see Kincaid, and um, and we didn't really trip until an incident happened at the World on Wheels, and it was like, oh nope, can't come over here no more. That's it. Dude, the reason why I asked, did you know he stayed over there on like 51st or 53rd McKinley? Uh, uh, -uh I didn't know. Uh, what year? In the 70s. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. We didn't know that. All right. They just wanted. Did you ever if he, raise But then again, if he stayed over there in the 70s, it wouldn't have been a problem anyway. Yeah, yeah, because everybody got along. What about uh pigeons? You You obviously never raised pigeons, did you? No, I wasn't, I wasn't one of the homies that cared about pictures, homie. You know, I, I was one of the homies that collected comic books. <laughs> yeah, I was into them comic books super duper heavy. I, you know what? Matter of fact, I still like them to the day. Um, you know, you had some homies did pictures. Some homies did uh, pit bulls. Um, some homies did all type of stuff. I was one of the homies that, you know what I'm saying? My thing, my thing was a comic book. <laughs> All right. I was trying to see what a what somebody that don't do nothing but gangbang do for recreation. Well, see, I stopped I stopped fooling with the comic books though. When I, I by the time I turned like thirteen or fourteen, oh, I wasn't tripping with them no more. Then all all my time was taken up with that gang stuff. In and out of juvenile hall, in and out of Y, in and out of pen. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just going through the motions, going through the motions, like um. Got like what one, one, one incident if you ever if you ever run across uh you ever get to talk to your homeboy little Eddie boy 
um, he'd tell you, like, one time, you know, me and Lil Eddie Boy was cool. And, um, because me and Petey Wack was cool. And, um, he had got into it with the Compton car. <laughs> <laughs>